Hello, everybody. This is Infamous OG1973 coming to you with another video um, for uh, gaming with Infamous. Today, I am going to go over Minecraft multi MC and getting um, mods, um, installing mods onto your game, and what you basically have to do. Now, this is my multi MC launcher and it's different in, in a lot of ways compared to uh, um, the regular uh, Mojang launcher but there's a lot of things that you do have in common that you have to do um, the first thing that you need to do is go in to the game and uh, create a world that you want to have uh, your mods on and make sure that the, ver the version of the game matches up with the mod version that you're going to use. That's very important. So if you're going to use a, a mod that goes on version uh, 1.10.2 or whatever, you know, you have to have the mod that goes with it. So um, make sure that your the version that you're using matches up with the mod. <laughs> After you uh, determine what version of the game you need to go to. Then you go in and you uh, get that version. And right here, that's after I installed the, my Multi-MC5 um, launcher and I had my world set up and I started looking around and I checked everything out to see what it looked like. And then I found out or figured out where it was that I was going to set up my base and I was good to go so from that point on I went to go get my mods and I left the game the world was already set up on the version that I wanted which was 1.12.2 uh, I believe and this is what I basically did first I went in and I uh, checked all my settings and I got it uh set up with the with the java and everything i checked that out made sure that java was set up and going good some of the stuff on here i can't really tell you what it is either because i can't see the screen too well and i have to go back and uh do this commentary because i don't have any audio on that um so it's basically me setting up the audio separately so i went in i set, did all the settings after i uh, got the world set up and now i'm going to uh, google um, search to find the mods most of the mods that you're looking for with minecraft you can find in ser uh, google search just like with multi mc just type in the mod that you're looking for and it's usually there so when you go in and you uh, find the mods that you uh, want want to uh, use, um, there's a, a few of them, but the ones that I would recommend is going to um, Minecraft Curse Forge. That's a good one. Then you have uh, www.modbuildcraft.com. That's the one that I I went to for uh, Buildcraft. And uh, then you have uh, Minecraft or Nine Minecraft.net. I've gone there a couple times, but I haven't gone there all the time. Most of the time, I usually end up finding mods on uh, Minecraft uh, Curse Forge, and um, I also do the Buildcraft. Uh, so I go to their 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 mod uh, website, and that's basically the extent of where I'm going to in this first part of the video it's uh, showing you how I uh, find the website and then I go to the website and I get the, the mod and when I get the mod I go in and I download it and after I download it for me I'm on Linux so I have to go into the download and I have to go to uh, preferences and then permissions and make the download an executive or an executionable uh, file and that means that it can be accessed by me, a group of people, or everyone, you know, so that I can install it. Um, when you install your uh, mod, that's another thing that you need to do, and it doesn't matter if you're on Windows, Mac, or uh, Linux. The mod has to go in to your mine, .minecraft file inside of the, uh, the 
a mods folder. If it doesn't have a mods folder, go into your .minecraft folder and set up a new folder and name it mods, lowercase letters, M-O-D-S. Now, um, right here, this one is a uh, one mod that I do want to suggest. It's called Foam Fix Anarchy. It's a, a really, really good uh, uh, mod. It's set up for uh, for um, basically helping you with uh, um, with the slowdowns on the boot up. Whenever the game boots up, it's really, really slow and it takes up a lot of CPU space. Now, understand there's two um, foam fixes. There's uh, the Aussie foam fix, which uh, is down right now. I've gone to their website, but that's the one. That's not the one that I'm talking about. I'm talking about Una's foam fix, and that is a uh, foam fix anarchy. Now, that's what I'm showing on there, and that's the one that you use. It's the one that is actually good to use and the reason why is because um with the uh, minecraft when it boots up um your cpu takes in the information and it transmits the information from the cpu to the gpu and not only does it transmit the information from minecraft but it also sends a lot of uh, garbage that it doesn't have to um, basically read, okay? And um, besides sending that garbage, it also does duplications, and Foam Fix prevents it from duplicating, and it also stops it from sending, you know, unneeded information from the CPU to the GPU. It makes it lighter, so that is a good suggestion to get. Um, and like I said, all you have to do is basically go to... Uh, um, Buildcraft, their Buildcraft uh, website, and the Buildcraft website is, let me see, the Buildcraft website is basically um, www.mod slash buildcraft.com, and you can get in there. Now this is a uh, freaking, uh, this is a uh, forge. Curse Forge. Curse Forge is a good uh, Minecraft uh, uh, website to go to. Um, it's probably got the largest uh, uh, repository and it's worth using. This is the part where I actually started getting audio, so I'm going to go ahead and let it play the audio and not talk as much, only when I need to. So I basically went in here to uh, set up the world that I'm gonna use that mod on. At this part too, I want everybody to know that uh, when you go to Curse Forge or a lot of the Minecraft uh, sites, they're asking you to uh, converge your account to Twitch. I have a Twitch account, so I had no problems doing it. But just so you know, that's what they're doing. Right there, you can go into your uh, um, options. And when you go before you go into the game, you'll see the mods option there that you can go into and check it out. And then right here, um, this is me going in and getting another mod. And what I did is I basically went in and got the mods that I and then match them up with the versions of the game. And uh, that's what I said about multi-MC I like, is you can have different versions of the game with different mods, and they don't uh, interfere with one another. Because on the Mojang uh, launcher, if you have two different versions of Buildcraft th with the two different uh, uh, Forge, um, Curse Forge, then it won't, it sometimes won't work. But with multi-MC, you can keep them separate and organized. So right here, I finally have my uh, Buildcraft uh, mod, I believe, on there. And I am um, booting it up and getting it ready to go with it. But I believe this is Buildcraft. And this is the way it looks. In my settings, I uh, set up my... Uh, my uh, Java to where it doesn't use uh, all the energy either, but for some reason on there, I, I have the task manager up there, and if you look, you can tell that the me not much memory is being used, but it's using all of the CPU. Yeah, at this point, I had all of the mods already on there. I uh, applied build craft. I did uh, industrial craft too. I had thermal ex the thermal expansion on there, and then I wanted to put Quark on it, but it only goes to 1.12.1. It doesn't have 1.12.2, so. And uh, on that uh, thermal expansion, if you go to get that, understand that you're going to have to get four or five different um, 
mods that go with it. So, oh yeah, and also remember too that whenever you put a mod in, it has to have the same game version uh, on there, but it also has to have the same versions of Source Forge to go with it. The mod, the source, Source Forge, and the the version of Minecraft all have to be the same. They have to match up. So make sure that you do that and if you do everything right you'll see the hammer and if you do everything right you'll see the hammer at the beginning when it's loading and it'll be loading up all of the the mods so i hope you enjoyed if you did please like subscribe and share thanks for watching